This is Sarah Holmquist reporting for Acoustic Bulletin at Ecophon International Acoustician Seminar in Borstad, 2011. I'm standing here with James Whitlock. Very welcome. Thank you very much. What brings you to AS this year? Well, uh, I've been invited to speak on my specialist topic, which is the Lombard effect. Um, uh, there's a lot of interest in, in this effect now, uh, especially with regards to um, uh, how noise level in, in a space builds up and starts destroying speech intelligibility, especially in classrooms, which is my personal uh, interest, but also cafes, restaurants, etc. Yeah. yeah. What are the implications of, of the noise building up? Well, it becomes more difficult to communicate. Uh, speech, uh, you know, speech intelligibility is reduced, uh, and the noise level in the space can actually increase to levels which can be, you know, dangerous and um, uh, very distracting. And uh, you know, for people's ears, you can come away with temporary threshold shift um, and and you know, real sort of uh, difficulties. It, it can it can lead to a nasty environment and uh, one which is really not conducive to having a good time or, or you know, um, being able to learn when you're in a social situation. Yeah. So what is your, your current uh, research area? Yep. Well, my, my current research area is uh, we've been looking at the Lombard effect uh, specifically. Yep. So we introduce subjects to a masking noise and we look to see uh, while they're reading a text how much their voice level increases as the background noise increases. So from that we get a slope, essentially, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, the Lombard coefficient, we call it, and uh, that gives us information on how susceptible people are to the Lombard effect. Mm. Right, and what are the conclusions so far? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, funny you should ask. We're, I very much feel as though we're still finding different pieces of the puzzle. Um, we have changed several parameters um, over the last set of experiments and each time we change a different parameter something else is is discovered so uh, uh, really I, I, I feel that um, uh, we need more experimentation we have a new um, experimental method now uh, previously we were doing the uh, tests in anechoic conditions um, and delivering the masking noise through um, insert earphones and measuring free field speech levels but we've flipped that around now. Now we have um, reverberant um, conditions and free field masking noise, and now we measure the voice level using a, a, a microphone which is close to the mouth. This is good because providing we can get adequate signal to noise ratio, we can go into any environment where there is noise and look to see how it affects people's speech. So it gives us flexibility and it uh, you know, gives us uh, a little bit more control um, well, not so much control because we're trying to we're trying to get away from the anechoic chamber control, but um, it gives yeah flexibility and it means that we can go into real situations and and do some measurements. Yeah. You seem really confident about this new method. What are the next next steps for you and your colleagues? Uh, well, we need to test the method. Um, so we have one set of results with the method, um, and we need to drill down try and see where the limitations are and see how far we can go with this method. It's, it's not very complicated, you know, it's just a, just a microphone, you know, a, a um, uh, headset microphone. So it's not a complicated apparatus, it's just that we are looking to see whether it can be used in this way for as many situations as we, as we hope it can be used for. That's really fascinating. Thank you so mm. much for your time. Much I hope welcome. you have a, a great time for the rest of AS. And you. uh, hopefully you'll come back next time. Well, it's a long way from New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've, I've certainly enjoyed it so far. The weather could be a little bit better, but uh, you, you can tell that um, you know, even with uh, a little bit of greyness in the sky, a little bit of rain, it's still a beautiful place. And uh, I can't wait to come back and see it in the sunshine. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.